Hello everyone, my name is Reiner and welcome back to another episode of Luxury Utopia in Oxygen Not Included. In the last episode we created our petroleum boiler which you can see here is uh, is active, it's pumping, uh, we had some trouble here with this tank and overheating of pipes. I got some tips in the chat about using diamond instead which might have helped as well but I I think we have it under control and if not we can always get in here we have an uh, airlock here um, but I'll see if this works okay I think we're gonna be okay for now so I'll uh, I'll leave it like this uh, I like to have my own designs uh, every now and then in this episode we're gonna uh, stay on Grossini I have a couple things that I want to complete here uh, one is, of course, this farm up here, which is not that important. That's why it's been laying still for a while. One other thing is that we have here, um, of course, our clean water tank. Uh, this is now at 59 degrees. I'm trying to cool it down to 30, which is obviously not working. And this aqua tuner is trying to do that, but it's working over time. So it's working continuously. Uh, the steam is getting hot and that heats up the upper area more quickly and then of course you get more heat in here and so on and so on so i think i need to keep this uh, keep an eye on this because if this gets too hot if this aqua tuner just runs constantly and the steam gets hotter and hotter well this can take a lot of heat of course there's an overheat temperature of really high because of the thermium um but still this if this water turns to steam we, of course, cannot pump it out anymore. We lose our water and we have different problems. So that's not good. So I might have to help this aqua tuner a bit. One other thing that I want to do is our slickster problem. Uh, right now, we only have long hair slicksters. We are actually incubating long hair slicksters, which is maybe not the smartest thing to do. Let's just remove them from here. I want to have the regular slicksters. Uh, let's just drop this one, uh, I don't know, let's put it here. So I want to have the regular slicksters. Uh, as I already mentioned in previous episodes, I cannot really groom these to get uh, eggs more quickly. So we're going to make a separate farm where we're going to put a couple of these slicksters. And I think I'm going to take these young ones. We're going to make a separate farm, fill it up with oxygen, heat it up, and then try to get... Um, more slickster eggs more quickly and hopefully we get some of the regular slicksters um because yeah this is just taking too long these lay eggs very very uh, little and it's the chance is just too high that it's a uh, long hair so that's not just that, that's just not working out um so let's start by doing that and i think i want to make it here up here in this corner um, and we're going to make some space here, so I'm going to remove a couple of things. This power wire is not even needed anymore, so I'm going to remove that. I'm going to give them access to this here because we want to make it here. And I think we're going to remove, uh, going to replace this cobalt ore just by using gold. Because gold we have unlimited uh, and yeah, the cobalt we don't because that's an ore. Uh, yeah, let's make the line down here, actually. So that's the wrong one. Let's make a... Uh, like this. Have what conductive wire. Yeah. Like this, and then down here. Let's replace the... Uh, the lead as well. And actually here, this I also want to replace. To tidy this up a little bit and then we can replace this this stuff here um yeah and then we can start making a room and i want to make the room of course 96 tiles as always uh, these here can go already so you don't need those uh, if we stand up here we can build there right yeah i think so so i can remove all of this and all of that we won't need that so yeah let's um, let them do this then we're gonna work on making an area and we're gonna heat it up so I'm gonna make it insulated let's see uh, yeah they need to build that uh, this is gonna be the wall 96 it's until here 
but I'm going to have a couple of tiles in there. So I'm going to make it this wide, uh, this deep. Uh, we're going to cover the ladder. Or I could have the wire in there, actually. Then I have it like this. But if we do that, then I need to make sure that one of these is actually replaced. Uh, let me see again. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to make it this deep. So this is going to be a, uh, I cannot do it like that. So I need to deconstruct that. And I'm going to make a um, conductive joint plate there. I have to be quick with this part. Because it's going to break the connection. There's a nine. Oh, please build this. Because everything is in parts. Oh no, we have power here actually. Uh, yeah. Everything's connected now, so I'm going to include actually this here inside the room. Uh, that means I can actually already make a couple tiles here. This here can all go. And here as well. And we can make ladders instead, so we can reach everything. Um, can they reach this? No, they cannot. So let's make a couple ladders up. So we can reach everything. And then of course we have to have a way in. There's a couple of things I want to have inside. I want to heat up the area. So I need to have utilities, a space heater. Let's put that there. Then I need a grooming station in there because I want to groom the critters. Uh, yeah, I can already do this, I guess. Yeah, we can. Uh, let's do until here. Uh, how why do I have to make this? Yeah, until there would be enough. If I count the side to the right as well, yeah. So here we can go up. Um, can I build that? I cannot reach that as well. All right, we're going to make another ladder there. Actually, let's make it on the outside, like so. Uh, and then this should be... This is 6 by... 17 is 100, uh, 102, 103 with this one. Yeah, we just need to fill in some tasks. Uh, we have the grooming station, but we also need to have a way in there. A grooming station can be at the bottom. We're going to have a couple of ladders in there. We want to make that all over sandstone. I think sandstone is fine, to be honest. We need to have some ladders up. And then I'm going to add a couple of mesh tiles. Uh, for a transit tube access. Let's also make that out of gold. This has to go. Yeah, this should be okay. Ladder, yeah. And from there, we have to have a way out. This seems okay. This one has to go. Uh, a transit tube crossing. And some more of these things I have to have ways to get still go in there okay so that should be fine uh, we can also hook this up already uh, this I don't want to hook up just yet uh, and then we also need to have a pump because I need to vacuum this out first we need to have fresh oxygen in here um, yeah I will put a um, oxygen pump probably here somewhere Actually, all these letters can go, right? Nah, just let's leave it out for now. I want to be able to get in here to build everything. Because we still have these cables to make. I'll be back once I made a little bit of progress here. Ah, here's our first sign of the problem. This is actually overheating here. Um, because this area is getting too hot. Uh, we're, of course, um, emitting a lot of hot natural gas here and we were relying on this water cooling it down and that's not happening sufficient how hot is this water here so the water is still okay-ish but uh, the problem is and let's see it's now 62 we started out of 50 59 so we really have to assist this aqua tuner with cooling this water down so that's gonna be immediately after we finish this year we're making a lot of progress so let me actually connect the wire here to the pump. Then we close this off. 
and we start pumping out this uh, polluted oxygen. We get this to a vacuum. Once this is a vacuum, uh, oh yeah, we also need to add a couple of tiles, I think, because this might be too big. Um, so let's do this. Then we start pumping this out, and while this is pumping out, we're going to work on something that helps the um, aqua tuna down there. First, we need to see how big this room is, actually. Let's make this there. And we're expanding our transit tube uh, area a bit, so we can travel more quickly between the areas. Uh, yeah, but this here has to be built, because otherwise we're doing... Uh, some weird pumping that doesn't do anything. Are they sleeping now? No, but they're on off. Off time. Okay, here we are. Good. So this is now in. Um, that's good. We have a couple of these bottles where we can put oxygen in there. I think we're going to start off with that, actually, once this is cleaned out. But we can always bring fresh oxygen from here into there. Uh, because this is where it comes in, and this is all fresh oxygen. But if we can prevent using this oxygen, uh, we have here 800 kilograms, 14.2, and this is 1,000. That might already, already be quite a lot, uh, but we can always add another vent here. Uh, let's see, how big is this room now? This is now 100 tiles. We have maximum of 96, so we have to remove 4 tiles. We can do that, of course. Uh, we can do one, two, three, four. It's a bit messy, but uh, this is how we can remove a couple of tiles. Uh, and I'm fine doing it this way. Maybe like this we can get higher up or something. I don't know. Because now we can climb up here. Let's do it like this. Um, but it doesn't have to be a stable just yet. So let's see here. I want to add another aqua tuner, of course. So what I'm going to do, I think, is going to make something here. It's going to be five wide because we're going to have a, a steam turbine on top. It's going to be three high. And from here, yeah, we have to have the steam turbine. But that only needs a room too high, right? Steam turbine is too high, right? Uh, where do we have one? We have one here. Oh, it's three. Three. Okay. So this is one, two, three for the aqua tuner. It could be two also. Yeah, let's make make the aqua tuner room two high. And we have the steam turbine three high. It needs power. And so does the bottom room. Um, I think we're going to separate that with a vacuum chamber here to the right. So we have then something like this. And then here's the connections to the power wire. Do I want to get the power wire through here or maybe through here? Uh, maybe best is through here, it's nicest. So here's where the conductive joint plate will be. And then we have power entrances there. Uh, yeah, let's not build this just yet because we need to displace this ethanol. Um, but we have to displace it until, and uh, let's mark that, until here, or actually here, to have a couple of piles extra space. So let's start doing that. Uh, we're going to do that with, uh, what do we have, a lot of granite. Yeah, let's use granite. And we're just going to make tiles here. Let's also add a couple of ladders so we can reach everything. Uh, do we need to make a ladder here? I don't think this is necessary. So we can just make one ladder uh, somewhere here. That means we can reach all of this. Uh, there, this is not necessary. And we need to remove this here. Because that's going to be in the way. Yeah, this should work. And then we also displace all the stuff to the right. That's also fine. But yeah, we were, I'll slowly start moving this over. Um, and I'll be back once I've done that. Because then we can make the next step. Okay, um, I've moved it over actually one tile further than I wanted just to make some extra space. So there's going to be again five tiles wide. We need to dig out this here. Uh, we're going to make it this high and then we're going to have another layer here. Uh, this is where the edge is. 
this and this is where we get the power through then we have a vacuum area and this is where we have another power wire um so let me let's see how we're gonna build this i think first we do the outside edge right all the outside edge that we can and then we need to make a liquid lock so yes this is the outside except for two i guess maybe these two because i need to dig here and then we need to make a liquid lock here in the ends to make sure that we yeah so let's start with deconstructing all of the uh deconstructing all of uh maybe not there maybe this here and then we can make ladders down so we can reach this and make some ladders here and then we can start going down here and build all of this yeah because this is now already 66 degrees so i'm getting very worried how hot is the water here in the end 71 really need to make sure that the water doesn't um turn to uh, steam actually in the pipes uh and that's actually one of my biggest worries at the moment anyway uh we need to make some ladders down here so we can reach this and then go to here so I need to make ladders here as well cuz i want them to build as much as possible here as long as we have this closed off Let's make a ladder down here, so we can build those three. And then I think I want to make a droplet of water on here before we open this up. So I can also deconstruct those two. And uh, I shouldn't add this ladder, right? This also has to go. Maybe all of this. Because now, yeah, it's, if this is deconstructed, we can put a pitcher pump here. Bottle empty, I mean. And put a little bit of uh, oil here. Oil or another liquid. I think any liquid would be fine. I don't know what... Oh, we have water available. Let's use that. Ooh, we're releasing this again. 76. <sighs> I am getting nervous. How hot is this now? 68. Oh, yo, yo. Uh, let's add some water here. This should be okay. Nothing is too hot. 70 degrees should be fine. Uh, and we do enable other bottle. And then just a tiny bit of water. Should be enough. Okay. And we can deconstruct this again. We can actually we can actually add some ladders here. So we can move over more easily. Let's remove those here. And then we can get in here. Let me actually go to the top first. And then we can build... Oh, wait. Uh, do, 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 do. This is not okay. We should have built this first because here is our transition. Uh, we sweep this. Yeah, I want to make this access point first. Uh, how are we going to connect this to here, actually? I could go through here. Let's deconstruct this. And then we're going to make a line like this and then like that. But this here I want to do first before we go in here, actually. And then we have a... Actually, those we don't, we don't really need anymore. So we can just make this here all connected. Uh, but what we do need is a... Um, ah, crap. Yeah, we have to do this from the bottom then so we built this again and then we build something on top we build some this this has to go and we build this on top and that and then we can deconstruct it from the bottom i guess this needs to go yeah so now we can go out okay so now we can reach all of this so we can go up here I want to deconstruct all of that. It's hard to tell always uh, what you're deconstructing, but I guess this one. And then I need to go something like this. I hope I can reach this from the bottom. Oh, I can reach it from there. Okay. 
This is now a vacuum, okay. This needs to go. And now we can make our power uh, as a what conductor here. Wow, we used a lot of gold. I need to bring over a bit more. Or maybe maybe I don't. No, this should be enough. Uh, we can already plan out a bit here. This. Uh, but this has to go in first, for sure. And this is still a vacuum, perfect. So at the bottom, we have this area for the steam turbine. We're gonna have some igneous rock tiles in between. Let's build them already, because now we can reach everything nicely. Then there will be a steam turbine on the top. Let's make that out of gold, uh, because we still we have sufficient golds. So let's build that here. It is going to be in a vacuum like this. Do I want to have it in a vacuum in the end? Yeah, I guess we can put a little bit of water here. I'm going to stop the, the build of this and then we're going to sweep up this water and I'm going to bring it over here. Uh, waiting gold delivery. Okay. Um, yeah. So actually I don't need a pitch, uh, a bottle emptier. I can just bring the water in like that, right? Or do I have a drop of points? I need to make sure that it doesn't automatically get, get emptied uh, in one of these places. Because I want to sweep it up and then put it here. Because we need a little bit of water here. It also reminds me... Oh, we have here a liquid pipe. Ooh, I need to be careful. That is... Uh, okay, I need to bring that out. Whoops. <laughs> That's stupid. Let's bring it like this and then drop it on top of here. That should be okay. Come on. I need to be careful with that. Okay, so we need to have plumbing. Um, I want to have radiant pipes here that go through this thing. Then we can go to insulated piping and go down. Uh, here we can go down. I want to get this over. And then from here it goes down again, and then here we have a vent. Or do I want to have the vent here? Maybe I want to have it there. Just to have a bit more room. Uh, this was the insulated, right? Yeah, let's go down. This is going to be insulated, and then here we have our vents. And then we have an aqua tuner room here. Where the pipes in the end will come back, right? Uh, can I already deconstruct this? Let's not do that yet. But I guess we can deconstruct this here already. And dig out this. So that we can build a lot of stuff already. Uh, let's make sure that this gets built first. Because I don't want the ethanol to get, <laughs> go in there. That was a little bit silly. I still had a pipe there for some reason. Okay. Anyway. Uh, we need one more of these. Uh, I'm not going to build that yet. It's going to be another one here. But I want to finish the top first. Uh, let me think. Do we need more here? We need the cooling. We need the power. Let's do power as well. So it is going to be a uh, plate here. Then we can connect it. Uh, we have the water going down. I cannot do that yet, but we have this in. I can have a jump to here, right? Maybe that also helps. We make a bridge, push it away like this, because we're going to have a bridge here anyway. Yeah, this is not coming. Uh, oh, there it comes. Okay, great. Thank God that is out. Put it on the top. Thanks. And then we can deconstruct all of this again. Uh, yeah, that's going to be there for now. It's fine. It's not in the way. So I'm going to finish the top first. Um, yeah. It's fine. Make the pipes. We clean this up. And then we make the connection. And we close this off. Oh yeah, and we have to put the water there. So this has to be done. Uh, let's actually not build that one. In, in, uh do this instead, then we can build this here, 
And then we can drop the water in there safely without it spilling over because I don't want this, it to spill over. Okay, so this is all in now. Insulated pipe can go down. And then here we have our liquid vents. Uh, we can make that out of copper. Sure. There. We cannot make that yet, but that's fine. It's still a vacuum, right? Yeah. Yeah, this needs to be done. Mop as a 9. Because I want to bring that over. Also, we're going to clean this up a bit. Okay, this is fine. And the power is in, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. That's mopped. Water. Bring it here. And then we're going to empty it. Empty. And this stuff we're going to move. Just move over. Okay, perfect. So now we have an insulate, uh, a thermal uh, conductor for this uh, for the heat. This one can go down, and then I think we're done at the top. So we can close this up. We have the power, we have the liquid, and I think that's it. So let's close this off, and then we can start in the bottom room. How's this looking here? How danger? Uh, we have 70 degrees, 78, ooh, we really need to be careful here. But yeah, not much we can do up until now. So we have another thermal aqua tuner that we're going to put in here. Let's say like that. This pipe is the cooling water that will cool down the steam turbine. It will go in here, come out here, and we have an overflow. And it will run... How much does, do I want this to run? Oh, we also have to put water in here. How the heck are we going to get water in here like this? I guess we can make a picture pump uh, of a bottle emptier here. But then this will also have... Oh, I guess we can push that out. Right? Yeah, I think so. Oh boy. Uh, Yes. Let's build this first. Then we deconstruct this, we dig up this. Oh, I guess we can make a bottle emptier here. No, we cannot. Because uh, we have to get in there. Yeah, I'm just going to make a bottle emptier here for now. And then we're going to solve the water problem later on. Because <laughs> you have to push it over, of course. Uh, power. Let's make the wire here like this and the wire down. Is that okay? No, we need to be able to push this out, right? Uh, yes. This is going to be our water. Oh, I need to be able to build this as well. We're going to empty water here. And I think I want to control how much this is active with a timer sensor. Uh, timer sensor, yeah. Just gonna make a timer sensor here, and then we can control how much it runs. At first, I will just let it run always. But, um, yeah, in the end, it's gonna be a bit less, of course. So, why is this not built yet? Liquid vents. Okay, I guess other stuff is more important. This is enable auto bottle. Yeah, we need to have water in here. And for now, this is just going to be always on. Like this. Okay, we're bringing water in. Good. Sweep all of this up. Carbon dioxide. Wait a minute. Why do we have carbon dioxide in here? There's water here. Ah! How can this be? Six grams. Damn it. Um, okay. We're going to make a pump. Mini gas pump. Uh, I guess we can make it like this. Then, like so. And we're gonna put a pressure vent here. I hope this will work quickly. Oh, God. Why do we have carbon dioxide in here? That doesn't make sense. Did I open something? Shouldn't be, right? Anywho, this needs to be done quick. I guess we have some time. I hope this works quickly. Otherwise, we have to put a big pump here. 
But this is only 6 grams, so maybe... Ah, oh, we don't have power here as well. Uh, deconstruct this one, and then we make the power down. And then, I guess for now, we just make this always red. Uh, we need power. Oh, this doesn't matter because it's not connected yet. Um, yes. Okay, this is now working. Not in gas, yeah. I guess there's very little gas that is in here anyway. So I hope this is quick. Looks like it's quick. Thank God. And we have quite a bit of water here already, so I'm gonna stop this. Let's deconstruct it. Clean this up. Uh, yeah, this needs to this needs to be emptied for sure. Carbon dioxide needs to be out of here. So we do need to wait for that. And then we can build a tile here. Uh, maybe start with one here. I hope yeah, we don't need to deconstruct anything, right? Milligrams, milligrams. Come on, pump. Do your thing. It is struggling a bit. Come on, man. How are we looking up here up until now? This is now a vacuum. Okay, let's uh, deconstruct this pump and this pipe and that thing. Then we can also deconstruct these wires. And then we can bring in some oxygen, right? So we bring in this, we bring in this, and we bring in this here. Uh, cancel sweeping and move to there. And then we can empty them. And then we have quite a bit of oxygen in there. And that means we can, yeah, start heating this up a bit. Because it's still going to take a while until we have... Uh, the heat in here and uh, the eggs, but it is a start. Do I actually need to have a auto sweeper in here as well for the eggs? Uh, let's do it like this for now. We are actually in a bit of a rush here down here. Yeah, this is still a vacuum. So what happened here? I I don't completely get it, but we are up to micrograms. Let's empty these out. Then we have an atmosphere. There we go. A very thick atmosphere even. And now we can connect this heater up so we can uh, heat up this area. And we can bring in some slicksters. So, so let's do that. Um, we have these young slicksters. Let's move all three of them in here. So we can uh, start grooming them. They can become tame. And then hopefully they lay the correct eggs. But yeah, temperature is still not hot enough, of course. So uh, this definitely needs to be done first. Come on, 100 micrograms. Seems to be working. 74, oh boy. 19. Come on. You can do it. 10. So maybe what I'll do here... I'll deconstruct this here, then build a tile there, and then the one below. Four. Okay, we're very close to a vacuum now. And ready. Perfect. Um, so we're gonna make a tile there. Then I'll build a tile. Oh, we need to. Uh, let's let's sweep this up first. I don't want any stuff hanging behind. This I'll deconstruct after I close off this room. We have 171, should be enough. Okay, make a tile there. Then we make a tile underneath. Then we make this tile. Okay, I think I have a strategy. So now we try to push the water over, right? Um, ah, wait, no, that's not possible because I cannot build this thing if this is here. So I can make this. Yeah, I just have to sweep this up a bit, I guess. Because now I cannot build this here. Because this tile is in the way. Huh, so we're going to have a bit of water. Yeah, we have we have enough water, I guess. Uh, so it's fine. Uh, let's So let's deconstruct these two again. That didn't work. These uh, conductive joint plates are a little bit annoying. But uh, okay, it is what it is. Let's build this. Now we have to sweep up this water, I guess. Too much liquid. Yeah, of course. At least we still have a vacuum. 
Oh, wait. I forgot this stuff here. So. <laughs> Whoops. Deconstruct. And we have to go back in. Uh, which is fine, I guess. Um, let me see. Yeah, we need to connect. Oh, the liquid pipe. We need to connect this up. And I want to connect this up. Uh, this is fine. Um, yeah, it need, does, shouldn't go in there yet. Because I want to have this build first. Okay, that is now open again. Sweep this up again. Oh boy. Or what I can do here is just move this to there, and this also move to there. This is now connected, so I can connect up this. And do this. Now we should be able to deconstruct this. I hope it falls to the correct side. Okay, it does. Move that. Move this to here. Okay. Now we build this, still a vacuum, perfect, and we can build this one, come on, how are we here, 40 degrees, ah, they already have a high chance for lava eggs, nice, and they are groomed, okay, good, uh, okay, this is now in, so now we need to be able to sweep this up, so I'm gonna do this, and I need to be quick, uh, yeah, need to be very quick once they deconstruct this, set it to a lower speed. Okay, we have it. Okay, we can do both actually. We need to sweep this up here. And then we can connect this up. I have disabled this, okay. But actually we can already enable it, right? Yeah, let's just, let's just enable it because everything is in place. This is in place. This being cooled. Yeah, so it's just that this is going to get hot for now, but uh, we should, it's still vacuum, right? Except for this here. So let's sweep this up. Sweepity sweep, boys, because this is also going to heat up, and that's not what we want. Okay, so now this is actually helping cooling this down. So that should relieve, this should mean that this is going to drop now. 76. That should be the maximum that we see. Because we're giving extra cooling here into the system. Okay, this is now uh, out. Let's move all of this stuff. Igneous rock. Moving is quicker. So let's do it like that. Um, then we're going to make a tile here. I'm going to deconstruct all of this stuff here. Because I want it to be cleaned up. Okay, plastic, move this out, move the plastic out, move the igneous rock out, uh, this igneous rock can go out, okay, and then we can start building this there, still a vacuum, let's do this one first, should be still, still be able to do this one. But yeah, then this is ready to go. We are almost at uh, steam levels here. So it's going to be very quick. How much water do we have here? 188 kilograms. That's quite, that's quite a bit. Should be okay. And this is thermium, so it can get very, very hot. Okay. It's closed off. And all clean. How hot is this now? 75. It is going down. Nice. Okay, and then we can start cleaning all of this up uh, and sweeping that. And then we can put this back to water. And then this should lower in temperature a bit again. Uh, 83. Ooh. I think, I think I'm actually going to reroute all of this stuff. Plumbing. Um, let's make insulated pipes here. I don't need to cool down the natural gas, actually. Or do I want to? It doesn't really matter that much. Let's let it be for now. Because this should drop in temperature and it's not given us problems just yet. 80 degrees. Oh boy. 82. 
We need to <laughs> make this lower quick. Um, liquids. Let's deconstruct this one. And we are actually good to go. We can also mop up this ethanol. And make sure it gets dropped into our tiny buckets. This actually can be deconstructed again. And then we can drop in the ethanol there. Okay. Good. Clean this up. And clean up the rest. So now, it is time. These are still wild. They're going down quickly on wildness. They have... Uh, the reproduction is... Okay, every 10 cycles they will lay an egg. Um, I am, I think, going to add some auto sweeper here. Because I, I don't want the eggs to stay there. Let's put the auto sweeper here, I guess. Let's see how I can do this. Auto sweeper like this, because then it can reach all the spaces. And then we need to have a conveyor loader. Let's see, where can we reach? We can reach these two spots, actually. So let's put the conveyor loader there. And we drop out the X. Yeah. Let's drop out the X here. Like so. Conveyor shoots there. And then we need power, of course, for all these things. Like this and like that. And then this should, yeah, 72 already. Nice. It is it is definitely going down. So I hope the water in here will also lower in temperature. Yeah, it was 82. It's now 80. Let's hope it goes down more before we add too much temperature here. Let's actually put this a little bit higher. So um, there's less chance of... Um, yeah, the natural gas has more gas to mix with, basically. Um... I see that this is also built, so we can remove all of these. And we just have a lot of uh, stuff to clean up. All right. Um, so I think this is now saved. Um, this will uh, generate some extra power and use power. But it's fine. We have 10 kilowatts. Uh, this will now lower. I will lower it until 30, 35, something like that. Maybe 35 should be enough. And then we can focus on this part, uh, because this here is still quite chilly for these uh, bomb lilies. So we need to add some heat here, I guess. Um, yeah, they need to be above 35. So since we have a lot of power, let's just add in these. Two, three... One, two, there. Just gonna run them around a bit. Uh, we're gonna connect this up so we have some cycling of chlorine gas. It's already four um, kilograms of atmosphere here. I am gonna, uh, because this on average outputs 176 grams per second, average outputs during its lifetime. So 100 grams per second, and these pump out 50 grams per second. So this is a little bit more than this. I want to make sure, even though it's very, very little, that we don't pump this out too low. So I'm going to make an automation in an atmos sensor. Of gold. Yeah, sure. There. And then I'm going to connect a wire to both of them. Just to make sure that we don't pump out too much gas we always want to have atmosphere here uh, and then i guess we're gonna connect up these so we're gonna heat it up a bit uh and we also need to add in the conveyor loaders oh wait we also don't have the power up here so let's connect up this as well and uh copy settings to there so that's the heat, and we need to have the conveyor loaders and shipping out all of the stuff we don't want. Uh, but we used up most of our gold, so I'm just going to bring over a bit more, because we have uh, a massive amount of gold. Let's do 20 more tons. Over to the second planetoid. Need one more. All right, drop it, and it will come over. That should be more than enough. Um... 
I'm gonna bring over all the bomb lily seeds so they don't bring them one at a time. And then, yeah, we just need to wait until this heats up, I guess. And then here, oh, we can set it to all of the eggs. Uh, Crito eggs. Once we have Crito eggs, we automatically ship it out to here. And these here, I actually want to set to the larva egg. So if we get larva eggs, we incubate them continuously. Copy that to this one. Because I want to get those egg uh, out as quickly as possible. All right. What are we here? 70. Nice. Looking good. Okay, at the bottom, these are already running. Um, it's going to get warm pretty quickly here. But uh, just need to add a bit of heat. 35. It's already 35 up here. These are too cold. Actually, these are also too cold. Yeah. Actually, I should maybe also add in one space heater at the top here. So that this goes a little bit quicker. Let's uh, uproot and uproot. And we're slowly getting in the gold. So let's do shipping. Uh, conveyor loaders. Let's add in these here. Meteor showers, that's okay. Um, let's rotate it. And let's put those in like so. It's a good thing we have an unlimited amount of gold. So we can do this. Whoops, that's wrong. Oh, almost did that wrong. All right, let's power all of them as well. I guess we can use the lead for that, that's fine. And then as the last step, we also need to have shipping in here. And this is going to cost a lot of conveyor rails, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, let's make them as a low priority because it's not important yet. Let's go like so. And let's connect all of them up. And over to there. Then we can set up all the uh, conveyor loaders to take the bomb lily flowers and the seeds once we have everything filled in uh, and heated up. Let's make sure that this gets done. A brute, so we can put another space heater there. This is still looking good. We have two tons here. Yeah, this works perfectly. The water in here. 76. Yeah, it's dropping in temperature. Very nice. Snow, natural gas still at two tons. So I think or two kilos. So we didn't add anything extra here, I guess. And we have 206 here. So it's a little bit too hot to steam. And this is at 67. Still dropping. Very good. Can deconstruct all of that. And in here, the temperature is now 44. And I think it needs to be above 60, right? Yeah, still too cold. So the larva egg chance is going to drop a bit. But uh, let's hope we, we get some larva eggs before it drops too much. Anyway, I'm going to build this and then I'll be back once we made some more progress. And I guess down here we can remove these. Uh, it's not necessary anymore. Let's... Clean up this stuff. Space heat to deconstruct. Deconstruct. It'll be hot enough in here. With just these things. Yeah, we are 68, 69. And here it's 95. This temperature will go come down. We don't need these space heaters anymore. You can see here in the meantime that we've lowered the temperature of this water dramatically to 42 already. So we're doing really well. I guess we can increase the red duration here a little bit to um, maybe lower this temperature slightly. I don't know if that really will do the trick, but uh, preferably I would like to have this at maximum 200 degrees. If we cannot reach that, I'm totally fine with that as well. It's not really that big of a deal. We have plenty of power, so we don't need to be efficient with it. Um, but yeah. This is under control now, and it also means that this water is now far from the 80 degrees that it was. So we're not going to get any accidents here, luckily. Yeah, we didn't get any larva egg just yet, 
but I think they're not that far from layer their first X. And let me actually see. Can I? 17%, 19%, 17, one. Where is it? This one is also 17. Okay, so I hope we get at least one larva egg because that would really jumpstart everything. Um, once we have a larva egg, we can start grooming it and it will lay different larva eggs much more consistently. Um, I don't want to start grooming these, but uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out later on. In the meantime, we made quite a bit of progress here. A lot of this is now already growing. We have planted a lot of these bomb lilies. Um, still a little bit to go. It's getting nice and toasty in here, which it should. So I think we can remove the space heaters very soon. Here it's just a little below. So these are not growing yet. And up here we are still having a bit of problems. And other than that, we're just missing a couple of seeds. Uh, but we'll get them fast enough with all of these uh, plants. So, a little bit more time to go. There's an egg here. No errands. Or was it already picked up? It seemed like it couldn't be reached here, but why was it picked up? Where did you bring that? Because it can't be anywhere there. Did they really have nothing better to do than bring that larva egg here? Let me uh, disable this uh, for now. Because I want to see this here happening. It almost seemed like they were not able to bring this over. But yeah, the first one was uh, sadly a, lar uh, a long haired larva egg. I think we have two more to go. Let's see what that's going to be. So this is 98, this is 99. Let's see what the last one, uh, the other two are going to be. Now we actually got two more long hair lava eggs, so we have to wait a bit longer. Um, I think the temperature in here is above 60 degrees, but the slickster is not 60 degrees just yet. So... Um, I don't know if they have to heat up before... Oh, they are going up here. So maybe they have to be hotter in order to have a higher chance for this one. But yeah, we got a bit lucky, so it's going to take 10 more cycles before we get uh, another chance on eggs. Uh, these eggs I'm just going to ship over and turn into omelettes. Because, yeah, we don't need them. In here, we build everything that we can. We're waiting for more of the um, seeds. Temperatures are looking all good, actually. So I think we can remove all of the... Um, yeah, we can remove all of the space heaters. Because we're good to go everywhere. And then this uh, chlorine vent will actually keep the temperature okay. Because it comes out at 60 degrees. So it should be fine forever. Uh, so let's deconstruct all of these. Let's deconstruct all of the cables that are involved. Uh, this cable can go... This cable, that one. Uh, let me see. This one and this one. And then we remove all of the debris, of course. And then we can set those locations also to be filled up with plants as soon as we get them. Um, so here, here, here. And I think that's it. Then we can also set all of the other conveyor loaders to accept the flowers for now. Uh, the seeds I'm not going to ship over just yet, but the flowers we can ship over. And then once everything is filled up, we can just close this off and then it will work forever, basically free of charge. Um, but yeah, until then, we get a new seat. Nice. Uh, up until then, I just want this to be harvested because that has a it was faster to get seeds, I guess. Um, 
So yeah, let's just do that. And then the, the palm lily flowers we can use for medication. The seeds we can feed fish, for example. So it might not be um, super useful. Oh, that's another, another seed. Someone's coming. Plant it there. Good. Four, six. Okay. Why is that a six and why is that a four? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, they don't have that much to do here. This is still working perfectly fine. This is still working perfectly fine. We're now at... 38 so that's very nice we could lower this a little bit more 580 i don't know if that lowers this temperature a lot but um i mean we, we can lower this usage a little bit to conserve maybe a bit of power i don't know if it's important we have 10 kilowatts uh, but yeah the biggest issue for now is we don't have any regular larva and it's gonna take a while until we get them um in the meantime we are flying around with a lander picking up some the some of the items we have three one two three four five six seven eight that's perfect so we go here we pick up the iron from there because of regana we have a a bit of iron 72 tons and then we fly back home we also went to Obsidista with the lander to pick up the Niobium. Uh, and um, once we get back, we're also going to go to, what is it? Sil Sleep Slopila, I think. There we have our um, tungsten here. 19 tons. Um, it's not that much because we only tamed one tungsten volcano. And they don't actually excrete that much. Uh, and the other two are just, uh, yeah, down here. We cannot get to them just yet. Maybe in the in the future. But yeah, we're not going to wait for more eggs. I think I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, as you can see, everything is running nicely in a um, stable manner. We now have this temperature under control, which means our water is also nice and cool. 50 degrees here. No risk of pipes breaking or something like that. We have four kilograms of um, natural gas in here at 70 degrees. Okay. It's not that hot. Oh, I guess is the, is the oil well maybe lowering in temperature because of the water? I don't understand really how the natural gas is staying so cool. Because I would expect, because it comes out at, uh, I think, 300 degrees. Can I see that somewhere? Natural gas. It's here 231. Yeah, why is it not here it's coming out temperatures going up but somehow everything is still under control maybe the water is helping a little bit yeah i guess so but um yeah i think we have a nice equilibrium now i just hope we're gonna get some larva eggs real soon because we need more oil that's that's basically it Alright, that was it for the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And see you in the next video.